as much as I try to keep things organized, and I think I've done a pretty decent job at uh, achieving that, one thing that really bothers me is the fact that because of these uh, shelves that I made into a workbench, there's a lot of wasted space. And I'm sure you experience the same thing no matter what kind of shelving you have or even a workbench. So in order to minimize that and ideally remove most of this stuff from the uh, work area, what I decided is I'm gonna build, attempt to build <laughs> is, is a better word, some drawers. And I know this is uh, a big span here. It's, um, it's almost three feet, but uh, I'm gonna do my best to make some shallow drawers. And my plan is to install maybe three here. And depending on how that goes, maybe continue here and eventually uh, there. So what I've done is I went to Lowe's and I got some lumber and some um, plywood. And I'm gonna try my hand at building some of these um, drawers and I will see how they turn out. I think anything really is gonna be an improvement. So this the next day, I, I do not have a table saw. So what I did is I went ahead and bought from Amazon a reconditioned Dremel um, Ultra Saw, I think it's called. And it comes with uh, a few discs and uh, other accessories, but uh, I think this is gonna, this is gonna do the job. <laughs> I'm just test fitting things and uh, for a change I measured right so this is looking really really good and of course the face of the drawer is going to probably pull this out just a touch to make it flush with this up right here where it touches and that's the way that I kind of wanted it and from there I'm going to make sure that I have anywhere between an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Uh, I'd rather have an eighth of an inch spacing, but uh, again, I cannot control the distance from here to here. So I'll see what I can do, but um, so far it's looking really, really good. If you can tell by I added a strip of aluminum. I bought it at Lowe's and I just polished it a little bit 
And I think that adds a nice touch because there's gonna be a break in between here and the bottom drawer. So I just wanted to add some kind of little bit of visual interest. And I did the same thing for the top here. I think it's just dressed the whole thing up nicely. And again, it provides a nice clean break between the drawer banks. Well, I still have to build all of those. And so far I have two. And I just have to get busy and finish building the other drawers. I have all the materials here. So being the last day of 2021, my plan is tomorrow to um, trim all the, all the lumber, get that ready and start assembling uh, more boxes. That's gonna give me two more so I can have that top bank completely done. I also prized some of the drawer pulls and uh, I'm gonna have to look around because they wanted at close at least the ones that I like. They were like $10 a pop. I gotta spend $40 doing that. Might as well do something else. So I'm gonna do some research. Maybe Amazon has some special. I also borrowed uh, an electric miter saw since it will provide consistency and I have to build a whole bunch of drawers. Well, so that's it. I consider this a heck of an improvement. And as you can see, I am not done. I, my plan is to build four more drawers for that side of the workbench and uh, maybe eventually build either, I don't know, six or maybe just four for the bottom portion of it. But I think they turn out pretty, pretty good. Again, this was my first time doing this and I watched plenty of videos and I read quite a bit about how to make drawers and this is what I, what I did. I mean, there's dozens or hundreds of different options on how to build drawers. But I'm very pleased with the, with the results. And as you can see, everything is, is, is fairly organized and I'm just getting started. And I also added a liner. I had leftover material and uh, I think that, uh, that really helps quite a bit makes them look even even better and as you can see I labeled it's kind of limited as far as how much I can put in here but I use my little uh, Dymo or what is this a P-Touch printer and uh, again I'm really happy with this uh, project so far and I also cleaned up quite a bit of the work area, which was also my goal. And future projects include adding a power strip right here. So I can just, you know, use um, power tools right here on the workbench without having to use extension cords. So that's gonna be coming up uh, fairly soon. And again, once I, I need to take a break because this was a lot of work to build the drawers, but um, the next project also is going to be to uh, start building four more. Fortunately, my, my neighbor, he allowed me to um, borrow this miter saw, which is great. And so I can get into a little more production when it comes to uh, making panels and, and pieces for the for the drawers so anyway my car has been getting covered with dust I try to keep it clean but it's uh, there's only so much you can do and that's I love woodworking don't get me wrong I, I really enjoyed the uh, the project but um, the dust is just oh my gosh there's quite a bit of that but anyway 
So I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this video, maybe give you some ideas. And again, with the, um, with very basic materials, not a lot of expense really, and, and good slides, you can build some really nice drawers. And again, this is just a workbench, so there's, there's no frame around anything. And, um, you know, I'm thinking maybe I want to paint this gray area black just to make everything look good but again that is just a final detail if i ever if i ever do that but anyway so that's it leave me a comment i hope you uh, enjoy the video find it useful give it a like if you can and uh, i will see you next time thank you for watching take care bye